everybody. Um, I don't really have much in the way of footage to share with you guys today. So I'm just going to do like a impromptu sort of haul video. Gabriel and I went to St. Vincent um, thrift store not last week, maybe the week before. And I found a few things. So I'm just going to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so before I forget, this painting I picked up for my mom. She's been looking for a painting that is of a substantial size because she has a huge wall. So she was thinking she either needed to get little paintings or, well, let me turn the fan on. I'm sorry if it bothers you, but it is dang hot out here. I'll turn it on low. But, um, so she's, she was looking for one of a substantial size and she would either have to get a bunch of smaller paintings or find a big one. Um, so when I go out, I do check for her all the time. I also check for me because I love to get other people's artwork. So when I went to St. Vincent yesterday, I had to get out of the house because all week long last week, um, while you guys did see footage of like the flea market and stuff like that, I was home. I was washing. I was taking pictures. I was listing. I was working on stuff for my other shop, which I have to do a huge order this morning. So um, I, I didn't get to go anywhere. Uh, so I had to get out of the house yesterday. I like stopped what I was doing in the middle of my orders and I was like, come on kids, let's go. I have to go to Office Depot anyway. So we stopped at St. Vincent and I found this painting. So it was marked $20, which was pretty good considering the other paintings that I found um, that are not even half the size. They're bigger, but they're, okay, maybe half the size. And they're generally priced $40, $50, $60. So I paid for this thing, right? And then, let's see, where is it? I go to, oh, I go to put it in my car, and I see that there's a cut in the, in the canvas. There's a tear. I was like, oh my gosh. I Oh my gosh. So I took it back inside and they do, you know, they say it's as is. However, when they do have things that are broken or they know it doesn't work or it's coming apart, they'll still try to sell it, but they will mark it as is so that you as the buyer know to look for its flaws and then you can accept them and buy them if you want. Well, I wasn't really given that opportunity. I didn't see that in the, this thrift store has no windows, not one window in the whole thrift store. So you're going on their, you know, kind of crappy lighting, you know, the fluorescent lighting. So I didn't see that. Um, so I took it back inside and uh, my mom was like, in the picture that you sent me, because I set it on a couch and I sent her a picture, if you zoom in really close, you can see that the white line. Like if you zoomed in on the picture, you could see that white line there. So just to show them that I didn't do that myself trying to put it in my car. So what they did, instead of giving me a refund, refund, they gave me store credit, um, but I still got the painting. So this painting was $20. Um, but I got store credit, so it was less than that. Um, so this is going to be going to my mom's house. I love this painting. If she didn't want it, and I told her this, I'm like, if you don't want it, I will find somewhere to put this in my tiny little house. I'll rearrange my wall with paintings on it or something because it's gorgeous. It's, I love it. So yeah, before I forgot that, because it's so giant, I didn't want to bring it back in the house. I just wanted to share that and that little story with you guys. Hey everybody, so before I move on with my haul video, I wanted to share this with you guys. I got a bit of um, mail from a subscriber. She also, oh that lighting is bad. Um, she also uh, has purchased a couple of things from me, but she was super nice and she sent me a gift and like, oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. <laughs> so, I, I mean, on my channel, I've gotten, well, in the craft world, we call it happy mail because it just makes you happy. So I've gotten that from so many, I've met so many like amazing people and I've done swaps and things like that. But this is my first thing from like a vintage uh, lover, viewer, buyer type mail. So this is so freaking awesome. <laughs> Um, so her name's Carol, and uh, I mean, I don't want to say like the rest of her business, but just call her Miss Carol. And so she sent this really adorable little swan like spill vase type thing. So cute. I love the crazing and stuff on it. Let's see if my little camera will focus. There we go. 
have stuff all over my table for my other shop and I'm like I'm not cleaning that up so that I could do this so we're doing this old school <laughs> she sent me this Ray Dunn sugar the sugar jar which I absolutely love because I have some Ray Dunn stuff and then she sent me the creamer I love it I love it I had a huge order to do and they wanted the Ray Dunn font on their pins that I made for their um I think it was a bridal party anyway but anyway so I love this font so thank you so much Miss Carol I really appreciate you thinking of me I absolutely love them so now on to the hall so Gabriel and I went to St. Vincent a couple of times and I really didn't record anything because we were you know I was like oh I gotta go to the post office and then we like quickly ran in there <laughs> so first I want to share you with you guys um, so that's mainly what this stuff is it's like mugs galore um, but these were actually free they were on the free table when I went to go put stuff in my booth on Friday so I just I loved them there was lots of other ones but I only took what I liked so someone else could have some so this one says this made in occupied Japan whatever that says China <laughs> I thought it was beautiful so I'll have to wash that up to get their stickers off from their booth then there's this one and let's see I don't want to break it me there you go Royal Dalton and then there is this one and it just says Nippon oh wait has a signature Grace F right. I don't know if Grace painted it or it was just hers and she was writing her name on it. But so those were completely free. I love checking the free table and I've left stuff there for other people as well. So I give back. Okay, so those were free. So then the rest of the stuff is St. Vincent. So wait, no, not it's a mix. St. No, who am I kidding? I'll just tell you when I show you. So this is St. Vincent. We went yesterday and when I found the painting and I like to look around and my cats are in the paper so excuse them. Um, this was a dollar but let's see I had to move my hand. It's the Takahashi brand made in Japan and it has like come on focus. Are you going to focus? It's the bad lighting. Oh, come on, focus. Uh, something like that. Anyways, you get it. I don't want to make this a super duper long video. So I got that for a dollar. Um, this was 50 cents. Got this. I thought it was really cool, like a glazed with seagulls. Um, let's see. Do this one. This one I thought was kind of interesting. I normally don't grab the brown stuff because... Um, brown stuff, in in my opinion, doesn't tend to be so popular when I try and resell it. But, I don't know. I guess I'll try it again. So that was 50 cents. Then I got this one. It's just really simple. It's like this gray color with this blue dot. And it has a brown dot. And that was 30 cents. And I don't know what it says in there. What it would have said in, you know, right in there. So I guess when I said last week, hell, or the week before, that I said I love mugs and mugs are, like, easy, I think this is what I meant. They're, like, they're easy, meaning they're generally pretty cheap, and there are some mugs that have sold for, like, $100. I haven't found that mug, but you can generally make maybe $8 to $15 on them, so they're easy in that way. Like, they're affordable. And you can usually make a few bucks. So, anyways, this one has like this purpley pink sort of and blue, see the blue glaze on it. And it was 50 cents. And then I'm trying to show you that's from one store. Then I got this thermos. It says pint size right there. Thermos for $3. That was one time. This was another time. Or I think I went like two or three times real quick. I don't know why I paid three dollars for this cat. I think it's because I was with Gabriel and we're both suckers for cats. <sighs> so okay, so these were from um, what store? Hospice. We stopped at the hospice and I found this Tanala pottery. 
that was 99 cents. I just moved the sticker to see what that 356 was saying. Lots of crazing. Some people don't like that, but I find it charming. So found that, and then this I really liked. This um, American folk art. It was 59 cents, and it's Warren Kimball, and it's Otsugiri. So that was awesome. And then this was on their 25 cent table, this bird picture. And nothing was like wrong with it or anything. It just never sold for their $3 that they wanted. But let's see, will it focus? Yeah, it's just dirty, so that's why it looks like that. All right, so I know that was from hospice. That's why I was trying to show you that. Was there something else? I think this, nope. I think that was it. Pretty sure. Okay, so we'll come over here. This was um, St. Vincent, this little horsey guy. I didn't see that is very obvious and I didn't really notice that because I think when I went to grab him, I was holding him like this and I was like checking him out and I really didn't see that, but he was a dollar. So I knew he had a little chip on his ear and stuff. So I just kind of went with it. Then we have more mugs. They said, I go, when I went to the cash register, I was like, holy crap, I found so many cool mugs today. And at that, that day, she said they got an entire house that was delivered to them. So they had quite a few things. So I got this really cool two-toned one. Or maybe it's three tones. 50 cents from Korea. I thought this one was cool. 50 cents. Then this one was neat, the shape. Again, 50 cents, and it's got all those pretty colors. This is like, I'm gonna label this a mug video. Like, mug lovers haul some shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> some crap, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so then I found this one. Genuine antique person, been there, done that. Can't remember. And it's from, can you see, focus for me, there we go, 1993, 50 cents. Then I thought this was so cute, I kept going back, to, oh come on now, I kept going back to it, it's my lighting. That and I'm like using my like regular old camera, not my phone, so that I can, because I'm having issues with my, um, editing programs. I have two different editing programs on my computer and and um, or on my two computers. I have a laptop and a Mac but um, so I really really love this is like a story about this okay so I really love Filmora there's so many options so many editing like like so many and they're all, always uploading new things that you can have you know so I bought the Mac version for my Mac computer and it doesn't want to work. It just buffers and just look, keeps doing like the little loading symbol and it, I'm so annoyed with it. So my laptop doesn't recognize my phone. So it doesn't pull like the videos off my phone. <sighs> so I'm like, okay, I'll just use my regular camera so I can take out the SD card and put it on there and use the program that I like. Don't get me wrong. I like iMovie. It's easy to use. Um, but it doesn't have all like the cool features and stuff like that Filmora has. I mean, in that aspect, Filmora blows that program out of the water, in my opinion. They have so many things you can use. And iMovie has been the same since I got an iPhone however many years ago when iMovie was able to be downloaded. I mean, it's been exactly the same. Like, maybe they've added a couple of things, but they don't add things daily and weekly like Filmora, different options for you. Oh my gosh. So anyways, that was a rant. That's why I'm using this camera so that I could just take out my SD card. <laughs> like you guys even care, right? So then Gabriel and I found these um, trays. They were 50 cents each. I wish they would have been sold like as a set, but see 50 cents elite trays made in England, but they were really pretty and they're not hand painted. Unfortunately, you know, they're like an applied, um, but it doesn't feel like a sticker either, you know? It's just, you know, like when they do these. I forget the word again. <laughs> so they're really pretty. And there's a tip for you guys. Um, a lot of people like to hang these on the walls. 
sometimes people don't have, well most of the time people don't have um, like plate hangers. I'm, I think a plate hanger would work on here, but they can be pricey. So what you can do is you could take the little, if, you, if you're going to keep it, you know what I'm saying, if you don't plan to resell it, take the little tab off your soda can and you can get some really good glue and glue it right here and you can use the, t the top opening of the, the soda tab thing um, to hang the picture, to hang the hook. Or, you know what I'm saying, to use as a hook. So that's what I do with things that I want to hang that aren't hangable. <laughs> I do that. I have lots of things with soda tabs on the back. Got that one. And the last one right here. So, yeah, this was 50 cents. Um, this was Salvation Army. This is like the last time um, that I stopped at the little one by my house. Um, well, <clears throat> I had been stopping by. Like, if we went to St. Vincent, we would pop into Salvation Army because they're right next to each other. Uh, but their prices were crazy. Like on, I, I even said something about it. I said, how can you charge $6 for a coffee mug? What are you doing? Why are you guys raising your prices like this? And this is a little example. Like this was $7 for this little frame. And I told her, why? Why? I'm like, this should be maybe $2.99 or something like at regular price. That Like that's that's the the sort of, what's the word for it? Like... That's the general pricing for an item similar to this that I've noticed in that store. You know, like their mugs are always 99 cents or whatever. So that's like a general pricing. So she did it for three and then she gave me half off of it because I said something, but come on, focus. Gosh, this takes so much more time to have to focus your camera. Oh my God, it doesn't want to. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyways, I got that. I don't have the patience for that. And then I got these from, um, this was still St. Vincent. I thought they were interesting being bright yellow. Lots of people love these bright, happy colors. Um, one of them has, I think a chip in the handle. And I didn't notice that until I took it out. But it's the same mug that I told her that I didn't want to get because it had, I think it's this one. Yeah. It had like, see there's the chip. But it also had like some cracking. You see that kind of at the bottom? I wasn't going to get it, but she's like, just take it because we're going to throw it away. So she just gave it to me. Then I got this one. With the house. It's, it's very Otsugiri style, but it's not labeled that way. So we have 50 cents and we have 59 cents. So she gave it to me for 50 cents. So I got that. These two are my absolute favorite find of all these mugs. Let me move these. So I found one and then I kept looking and I found another one, but it's these gorgeous cats. And it's Otsugiri and they were 30 cents a piece. So these were, yeah, my absolute favorite find of all the mugs. So then I found this guy. This was also from Hospice, not St. Vincent. It was $1.99. It is Otsugiri. Can you see that? Is it going to focus? Anyways, um, and I normally don't pay over a dollar for a mug, but I figured this could be a plant or two if somebody wanted it to be. Oops. <laughs> so that's where I justified that purchase. <laughs> And then the last thing I have to share with you guys are these cute little guys, these little chicky doos. So cute, aren't they? They're made in Taiwan and they were 99 cents a piece. And they're this, the bisque, the porcelain bisque that, to be quite honest, it's a sensory issue. I don't like touching them, but I will for you guys. So yeah, I got those. Aren't they so cute? I love like Thanksgiving and Halloween stuff. So that is an overview of the stuff that we've picked up our last couple of trips there. Um, I love going there and walking out with a ton of stuff and I only spent like $4, you know, because the mugs are like 30 cents and 50 cents and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got gotten. We didn't do any footage again. I'm sorry about that, but there's no windows. That store is horrible for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll come up with something to share with you guys and I'll be back with you guys really soon. All right, guys. Bye.